it is a rainy day in Singapore. Currently walking to the train station. Had a little breakfast at the hotel. Going to meet up with my friends. It is rainy and it's still feeling muggy and hot. So let's go. I have no idea what I have no idea what any of this part of the trip is gonna be. I have no idea what I'm getting up to. Um so let's go find out. Google Maps keeps telling me to cross the road and then cross the road again and then cross the road again. But the thing is, it's making me do it these sky bridges where you have to go a bunch of steps and you gotta cross the sky bridge and then you gotta come down the other side. And I, this time I was like, no, I know I know what your game is, Google Maps, trying to get me to work out. I've had enough. I won't cross over. And it worked. I'm at the uh, I'm at the train station. So take that Google Maps. You think you know better? This is stupid content. <laughs> Heading to the train station in the longest hallway ever. <laughs> so the trains are much less populated than Japan, but I think it's because there's less of them, so they're less used here. There's a lot more cars and uh, bikes on the road, but they do have trains, which is great for me. It was like an 18-minute walk from the hotel to the station, but I guess I could always take the bus, but the good thing is you can just scan your Visa card, your credit card, to go through. You don't need to get a particular train card. Or right now we're waiting for the next train. So this time, instead of going over, I had to go under a bunch of tunnels through beautiful capitalism of the mall. And there's just so many Western things here. It's very different from Japan, um, which is, I don't know, it's just very odd. Very Western place, Singapore. And yet not, there's more Chinese influence, I feel like, here. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it was a nice walk. It's still raining like crazy. My shoes are gonna be soaked again, whatever. Singapore life, baby. Oh, Napoleon, look at you now. Selling cheeseburgers. We have a plan now. We got about three days in Singapore and looking at rain on pretty much all of them. So today we're gonna get back on the train and we're gonna head the opposite direction of where we came. And we're gonna head to the gardens. And they have some beautiful gardens. Hopefully the rain will chill out by then. But they got these domes. They're supposed to be very impressive. And someone said they have one of every plant there. So We'll see about that. So I am in the flower garden dome, uh, a pretty big place. Now the whole point of this, sorry, I thought that was an animal, it's not, that's not a dragon either. <laughs> um, I'm in the Australian climate. So this whole dome encompasses the Mediterranean climate from all over the world. So you have different sections that are, you know, California or Australia or uh so we're gonna walk through this area and check out the mediterranean place vegetation and then we head next door to the cloud dome. I'm not really sure what's over there, but let's go find out. Look at that, they even have a statue of the Chinese president.
Well, that's a really nice walkthrough if you're into flowers and different vegetation from all over the world. Very cool walking through, seeing all the different climates and the different zones. So the next step is the Cloud Forest, which is supposed to have some sort of Avatar movie inspiration. I'm talking about the Blue People Avatar. Very gimmicky. It's clear that this whole place was something different. Whoa. And then they avatarized the whole place. Look at this thing over here. Look at this tree. I bet this place is really cool at night. Let's get off this thing. This sucks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That was a pretty fun, but really cheesy, kind of gimmicky, but fun. It's really pretty. Uh, that whole cloud building is awesome. I'd take that over the flower building. Um, it's just funny how they've avatari avatarized the whole place. Everything's avatar, you know? It's like, makes you wonder what it was like before. 
so I'm sure the Avatar experience helps bring people in, but it was uh, fun. Yeah, it was cute. Really pretty. Lots of good videos and pictures, so enjoy that. Now is the time to go to the nearby mall district. There's like a mall uh, type of area, and that's where I'll grab some food, and then I'll take the train back to the hotel because my feet are wet and I need to change my socks. I'm gonna have to start carrying a change of socks while I'm in Singapore. Pro tip, you ever come to Singapore, bring a change of socks with you. Singapore reminds me a lot of Switzerland. Like it's the place to go if you have money and you wanna spend money because all the fanciest shops are here right next to each other everywhere and everything just feels pricey and on top of that Singapore does a really good job of trying to stay their neutrality so yeah Singapore Switzerland I, I take pictures and video of everything. I'm gonna take a picture of us with this. Send it to his mama. Here we are. Up top. Top of the city. Look at that building over there. Look at that. What's going on over there? That's wild. Look at that. Look at all that Singapore. Look at all that Singapore. All right, so I went out to meet up with my friends at their hotel and had a little food, uh, a curry uh, croissant. No, what is that thing called? A curry puff uh, with spicy curry. I was a bit too spicy, but that pastry was so good, so well cooked, as well as some Singapore noodles. Still have no idea what's inside them. And, uh, but she said, people are going to ask if you've had Singapore noodles. Now you can say yes. Yeah, they were great. Uh, and chicken and rice. Sorry, not chicken and rice. It's called chicken rice. So that was fun. Um, got a nice view of the city, as you can see here. Beautiful nightlife. And now I'm back at my hotel. Time to rest. Tomorrow is another day.